here with our stock contractor, Dale Hall, who's just told us he's been here for <clears throat> how many years, Dale? This is 33 years I've been here at Saxon. Uh, there's about four rodeos that I've been to longer. I went to Hugo, Oklahoma. I've been there 38 years. In Manhattan, Kansas, I've been there 35 years. Harrison, Arkansas, I've been there 38 years. And Saxon's about the fourth one on the list at 33, I think. Wow. Most of all the places we've been, we've been back quite a while to those same places. And uh, how many head did you bring here with you this year? Oh, there'll be about a hundred and, uh, I'd have to think, about 230 head of livestock here. Yes. Yep. Yep. It's uh, about 450 miles from the ranch, but we come from a rodeo about a thousand miles from here at Hill City, Kansas, 120 miles northwest of Dodge City. And before that, we'd been in Manhattan, Kansas. And when Hill City was over with on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I started bringing stuff over here like Friday, Saturday, and yesterday. And then we didn't bring anything today, but we're bringing some stuff in here tonight. About how much feed do we go through in a week worth of rodeo? Well, in a week's time, I can't tell you, but I can tell you in a year's time, uh, our feed bill, just our feed bill last year was $34,000, or $84,000. Our fuel bill was 34000 if that gives you some kind of idea where your money goes in this rodeo business. And you have to take, you have to feed them to keep them on the road, and we do our fair share of feeding, I suppose, but uh, you just have to feed them to keep them healthy and going. We run quite a bit of them there on the ranch, sure do. I was going to say, how many do you have at your ranch? We run about on a, in the, Middle of the summer, we run about 160 head of horses. And then in the fall, we'll cut back to about 130 head of horses. And then we keep 30 to 35 brood mares and three studs down there on the creek at a different place. And there's 19, 20, there's 39 big colts over to place in Arkansas that I lease that I don't even see. I see them about once a year as so. But we keep things growing all the time. Shelly, my daughter, and we've got a nephew that works for us, Chad Cometti. And she and him, they take care of the bull details on. Shelly keeps all of that stuff on a computer where she knows what cows are out of, what bulls, and how many times they've been, and where they've been, and all of that. But we've been real fortunate in this business to have uh, three bucking bulls a year in the PRCA. And last year we had uh, a bucking bull of uh, second best bull at Las Vegas, and we've had the best bull at the NFR several times, and the best saddle bronc. And we had one saddle bronc of the year back in the 80s, but you know, all of that, it covers a span of 51 years. I've been in it 51 years, and I'm 70 years old, so I started when I was 19, and I can tell you a little history on that. I made $600 at the first one that I put on and I thought, let's beat the crap out of hauling hay or digging post holes. So we just took off after it. And I was contesting at the time, riding bucking horses and bulls and steer wrestling. And it just first one thing and another just led to it. And I got married in 21 and had a boy and a girl and they, uh, it's the four of us, we run the ranch. Of course, my boy got killed about eight years ago. So it's me and Betty and Shelly. We don't hire any help at all. But the guys that I've got hired that comes to these rodeos, they've worked from 30 years on down to about probably 10 or 12 as the youngest. But Butch and his wife worked about 30 years for me and we haven't had much of a turnover in, the, in our labor half at all. 